Coach, obviously another hard-fought hockey game. I'm guessing that you you like what you saw from your team despite the end result. Yeah, for sure. We battled hard. I mean, um, you know, I didn't think we managed the puck like we have in the other games, um, but we find ways uh, and we keep battling. I don't like the way, obviously, to to lose that you know with that little time on the clock, but. Um, you know, to, to get to overtime is pretty gutsy after, uh, you know, the back-to-back -back in the game against Calgary. All part of the process of uh, just focusing in on the process and not the end result? Well, I mean, you want to win those games. I mean, we, we've got, you know, we've got a full possession with 30 seconds to go and, you know, we end up losing. So you want to get the two points, but in saying that, uh, we did so many, you know, things well defensively. We just, we just got to have more ozone time. Um, but give them credit. They they were jumping. They break the puck out well, and, they, and they've got you know they've got some real good players. Uh, pretty clear though, the team has bought into the theory that every game between now and the end of the season is going to be playoff like. Well, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, we had some hard games early where you know they were lopsided. It was you know embarrassing to all of us, um, and we know if we don't work, a, you know. Uh, 100 percent we're gonna you know we're, we're not gonna win and and uh, give credit to Forsberg in there tonight I mean this goaltending that we've had of late allows you to be in every game Chris Gary on post media I was gonna ask you to expand on that DJ uh, Forsberg hadn't played a game in over a year in the NHL and he looked pretty good oh he was unbelievable and you know what I would like to have got him a win here tonight um you know, he gave us every opportunity to win this game. I mean, uh, the deflection, the, you know, the goals that come in, I don't know if he, he could ever stop them. You know, this might be, be an obvious question, DJ, but you, you've got points in six straight games at home. What's the difference here? Uh, confidence for young guys, goaltending. Um, you know, our goaltending's been exceptional here at home. And uh, when you get it, you get a chance every night. And then ultimately we get last change. So you can get your face-off guy out there on particular side. You can get your matchup D out there. You can get, you know, the, the center that's, that's playing the best out against their best players. So that helps us for sure. Uh, but we certainly, and we play more confident here. That, that's obvious, but that's part of it. Young teams lose, you know, a lot on the road. You, you, we've got to find a way here, um, you know, down the stretch to win more games on the road. Sorry, I just wanted to squeeze one more in. Um, just on... Formington, what have you seen from him in these first two games? Very good on the penalty kill. Um, you know, he, he can flat out fly. It's just the details of his game need to continue to get better. And as they do, I mean, you could see he's, he's an NHL player and a, and a really, you know, really good prospect. And as he gets stronger, uh, he's going to be tough to, to, you know, to stop out there. So it's really exciting when you watch, uh, you know, all the young kids. They're not just there, they're contributing. Alec Frazier, NHL.com. DJ, uh, Thomas Shabbat played a nice minutes again tonight. Uh, of course, impressive that he's able to sustain that so many nights, but there's also the play in overtime that leads to the goal. What are your thoughts on his overall game tonight? Well, you don't get to overtime without him. So, I mean, I know I know some people talking about his minutes. You're not in overtime without Thomas Shabbat. So, um, you know, he's going to make plays, and he, he makes lots of them. And sometimes they're going to get picked off, and they're going to go the other way. But uh, I'm not talking about those. I, I'm talking about the plays that he makes all night, breaking us out. I mean, our puck possession uh, would be cut in half without him. So Thomas Shabbat has uh, been unbelievable for us. I don't want from Ian Mendes at The Athletic. A uh, couple questions for you, DJ. Just uh, kind of along those lines, what did you guys do effectively against Matthews and Marner tonight? Well, we, we defended him as a group of five for the most part, and then, you know, the goalie made the saves when he had to make them. Um, but, uh, you know, we had a shared responsibility on a couple lines playing against him. Um, you know, we tried to keep him to the outside. I mean, uh, they're, great, they're really good players. And then after the first period, we didn't take any penalties, and that helped us. Uh, and the last question would be, uh, you, you guys put uh, Christian Willanen on waivers today. If you can just maybe uh, give us a sense of where his game is at and, and I guess on behalf of the organization, walk us through that decision. Well, it's Pierre's decision. Pierre's the general manager and, uh, um, you know, that's a decision we made and you, you'd have to talk to him.